This is NordVPN, and in my opinion, it's the best VPN for Android. All right, catch you in the next video. Is that really even funny? If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're like most of us, and you want an Android VPN that keeps your information private from big tech and annoying advertisers. You want an Android VPN that lets you watch Netflix in other countries and stream live sports for free. You have some unique privacy considerations as an Android user, and you probably want a VPN that provides the same great value that your Android device does. So this is my Google Pixel 7 Pro, and it's what I used to perform most of the testing in this video. Actually, this is an iPhone. Let's get this Apple garbage out of here. I actually had to borrow my friend's Pixel for testing, and also a Galaxy S24. And after 16 Red Bulls and 264 speed tests, I found that four VPNs really stood out. The top four VPNs shared some of the same key characteristics. First of all, they're fast. All of these VPNs use the WireGuard protocol, which makes them quite speedy. They're secure. You don't need to worry about your data being recorded or shared, even if you're using an Android on Jellybean. Shout out to Jellybean. And they're easy to use. These VPNs have interfaces that pretty much anyone can figure out. And as of today, these are my top four choices for Android VPNs. NordVPN is my top pick, and I got a sweet discount for you guys. Just use that link in the video description. I like Nord in large part because of its sleek and simple design. You choose your server location from a world map rather than scrolling through a list of servers. What can I say? I'm a big map guy. Proton VPN has a similar world map, but with a little bit more of a Born Identity-esque design, so that puts it at a close second. Surfshark and CyberGhost are more traditional. Not bad per se, but definitely a little more old school. With Nord, you have access to over 6,000 servers in over 60 countries. NordVPN also allows for 10 simultaneous device connections, which they recently upped from six. Surfshark allows for unlimited device connections, which is great, but realistically, you probably don't need unlimited connections. Or do you? Now, when it comes to speed, Proton VPN beat NordVPN in our testing. Interesting. Tip of the hat to you, Proton. But it was close. So close, really, that it feels nitpicky to say that Proton is faster than Nord. NordVPN is still exceptionally fast, making it ideal for streaming things like live sporting events or watching Netflix. For gaming, you want a balance of low latencies and fast download speeds. And for this, Surfshark is an excellent choice. But as I said, all these VPNs are super fast. I mean, why would I even bother including a slow VPN on this list? Fast speeds are great, but you know what else is great? Japanese Netflix. You'll probably want to use your VPN to access geo-restricted content. And in my opinion, this is where the good VPNs really start to stand out in the pack. If you don't go with a good VPN for streaming, you run the risk of not being able to unblock the content you want to watch on platforms like Netflix. Or maybe it does for like one episode and then it's blocked and you gotta change servers and before you know it, it's 2024 and you haven't even watched one season of Succession yet. Take it from me. Ugh. So to test this, we tried to access Netflix libraries in the 25 most desirable countries, meaning they have the biggest and most binge-worthy content catalogs. All of these top VPNs were able to watch the vast majority of content on Netflix, meaning they should be able to get you past whatever geo restrictions you're facing. Now, when it comes to privacy, your best bet's usually gonna be to get a decentralized VPN, but you gotta be pretty committed to make those work for you. So if you want a VPN that focuses on privacy, but you aren't tech savvy, Proton VPN is the best choice there. Proton is well known for its security features. You can sign up anonymously. Its team is based in Switzerland, and it has a secure core feature that routes traffic through servers in countries with strict privacy laws. That said, NordVPN has excellent privacy features too. I'd say it has the best blend of design, speed, and privacy. It has an audited no logs policy, it has an onion over VPN feature which allows you to use Tor easily, and it's located outside of the 5, 9, and 14 Eyes Alliance countries. Obviously, none of the VPNs I'm talking about are free. The thing is, Free VPNs are usually slower and they often sell your data, so I really don't recommend them. Proton's free VPN is okay, but it's not very fast, it has a limited server pool, and it only allows for one device connection, so I can't really recommend it. Rather than go with a free plan, if budget is your main concern, I'd opt for Surfshark. It costs less than a king-size candy bar, which is pretty cheap. If you're willing to spend just a little bit more though, you can get Nord. Nord simply offers a better user experience than Surfshark, which is why it's my top pick. All right, let's sum this up. If you want to spend as little as possible, go with CyberGhost. You'll be making sacrifices on design and speed, but you'll save a few cents. If you want to spend slightly more than you would with CyberGhost, like literally cents per month, and you want a good VPN for streaming, I'd go with Surfshark. If your only reason for getting a VPN is for privacy, then look at Proton. But if you want the best combination of design, speed, privacy, and value, then you want NordVPN. Remember, the links in the video description will get you the best deal on whichever VPN you choose. They'll get you an exceptional deal on NordVPN right now. So make sure to check those out.